Hi and welcome back from Copenhagen. After a night at a hotel and some city exploration in the morning, it is now time to check in for today's flight all the way to San Francisco. I'm flying in premium economy again, but this time on board the A330-300. Really excited about the seat and the service on this 11 hour flight, as well as the A330 itself, as I've never flown on one of them before. The check-in process is really easy here in Copenhagen. You can either go to the self-check-in machines and check in by yourself, or you head straight to the business class check-in. But in any case, the airport staff will ask you some questions on US flights, such as if you have Easter or who packed your bags. But now, let's head over to the security check, which is a separate one, only for SAS business and premium economy passengers. Lounge access to the SAS lounge is included for SAS Plus passengers as well. The lounge is located in Terminal 3, behind the security check. Once you are inside, you have different seat and working space possibilities. As this is the only lounge for Starlines passengers, it is really crowded, at least in the afternoon. There is a selection of different cold snacks, such as cookies or chips, but also a salad bar and a warm soup. Tomato soup in my case. You can also find different coffees, hot chocolate, soft drinks, water and beer. All in all, nothing special in my opinion. But I won't complain, as I'm allowed to visit the lounge, even though I am not flying in business class. Passed around 2 hours here in the lounge and now it's finally time to head to gate E124 and to board the A330 there. And so welcome on board the SAS A330-300, which is equipped with 262 seats in total. There are 32 business class seats in the front, 56 premium economy seats over the wings, with me seated in 25 hotel, and 174 economy seats in the back of the aircraft. Let's have a look at the seat. The seat pitch of 96 cm or 38 inches is really nice in my opinion and offers awesome space in the front. For some more comfort, a footrest can be found under the front seat. The table is in the left armrest, while the button for adjusting the seat is on the right. When arriving at your seat, various items are already there. You can find headphones, an amenity kit, which we will have a look on later in the video. A pillow. A blanket. And last but not least, a bottle of water. Pushback started on time, so let's head over to the runway and then take off towards the United States. Exit. 
exits on each side. Leave your hand baggage behind and move to the nearest exit. Remember, it may be behind you. Emergency lighting along the... First service starts with some cashew nuts as well as drinks of your choice. Shortly afterwards the first main course is served. You can choose between two main courses. I went for the fish with rice which was a good choice. In addition there is chicken with some sort of vegetables, a cake, a warm bread roll, as well as butter, cheese and some knäcke. All in all, a delicious first meal. But I think there is no difference between economy and premium economy concerning the meals. Maybe the real glass is a premium economy feature, but I am not sure about it. Let's have a look at the in-plate entertainment system. Of course there is a flight map where you can see the current position as well as the remaining time to the destination, but also some other general flight information. Various movies are available as well, but also some games and general information about the services in your travel class and even an outside camera is available. On the right side of the screen you can find a USB port to charge your personal devices, but there are also two universal power outlets between the seats. Let's have a view on the Wi-Fi situation on this flight. Wi-Fi is available, but unfortunately it is only for free for business class passengers and Euro bonus diamond and gold members. If you want to connect anyway, you can pay for the excess, which costs 149 Swedish crowns for the entire flight, what is about 13 euros. Yeah. 
it is almost time for a nap, but before that, let's have a look on the amenity kit. Inside you can find toothbrush and toothpaste. As well as earplugs and an eye shade. Welcome to San Francisco. As we just landed, it's now time for a short summary of today's flight. All in all, it was a really pleasant flight. The seat was very comfortable and I could even take a nap of about 3 hours. I really liked the service as well. The meals were tasty at all and I liked that the crew came about every 2 hours through the cabin and handed out drinks and snacks. Sadly Wi-Fi wasn't free for premium economy passengers and I think if you book the economy seats in row 41 you can get a similar experience as in premium economy class. But all in all I can recommend you to fly SAS in plus class, especially in consideration of the ground benefits such as lounge access, fast lane security and priority check-in. And that's it. Thank you for watching today's video. Feel free to leave a like and to write a comment and see you in the next video on next Sunday.